a few weeks ago, my little toy Friendship is Magic season end has left a void. A void that needs to be filled. So this week I'm doing another Titles Bronies Should Watch video. Recommendations for Bronies. Now this is a cult fantasy classic, and I'm sure a lot of you know about it, The Last Unicorn. It just so happens that I've just finished reading the book, too, so this is going to be kind of a combo video. While I'll be focusing on the film, I will also be talking a little bit about how it compares to the novel. So this week I'm going to delve into The Last Unicorn, a film based on the book by Peter S. Beagle. When the last eagle flies over the last crumbling mountain and the last flight roars at the last dusty fountain in the shadow of the forest, though she may be old and worn. They will stare, unbelieving, at the last unicorn. The unicorn lived in a lilac wood, and she lived all alone. So she ventured out from the safety of the enchanted forest on a quest for others of her kind. Joined along the way by the bumbling magician Schmendrick and the indomitable Molly Groot, the unicorn learns all about the joys and sorrows of life and love before meeting her destiny in the castle of a despondent monarch and confronting the creature that would drive her kind to extinction. Alrighty, so The Last Unicorn is a dark fairy tale style story. The last unicorn in the world overhears some people talking about how there are no more unicorns in the world anymore, and so she goes on a quest to discover what happened to the rest of her kind. I will start by saying that this movie is absolutely gorgeous. It's a Rankin and Bass film, and it's done in the same style as the animated Hobbit, and it is beautiful. Backgrounds are breathtaking, character designs are unforgettable, and let's not forget the main feature, the unicorn. She is a traditional mythological unicorn as opposed to a more modern horse with a horn type unicorn, and there is just something about her that is enchanting and magical. I could go on forever about how beautiful the visuals are here. I think where this film is a little bit weaker is in its pacing and its glossing over of some of the book's themes. It can drag out a little bit too long in some places and then speed up too quickly in a, in a few others. This is fairly easily overlooked as it's being a product of its time, though. But the book is very heavy on waxing philosophical about such themes as beauty and how it relates to mortality and immortality, innocence and the loss of innocence. And the unicorn is presented as a higher and simpler being than humanity, for whom actions such as kindness or cruelty are foreign. She simply is. The movie doesn't delve into these concepts so much, making it a little bit confusing at times. Now, as much as this movie is often remembered fondly from people's childhoods, I don't really see this as being a movie for children. The aforementioned themes are a little bit complex for a child to grasp, and I really see it being more of a story for adults. And aside from that, this movie is actually pretty dark. I remember being quite terrified by the Red Bull as a kid. The movie is made up of achingly beautiful scenes and dark and dismal ones. They really went all out on making Haggard's Castle the most terrifying place imaginable, and the Red Bull is really quite impressively menacing. The film did a brilliant job with atmosphere. Haggard himself is a rather dark character, and the whole of the story is pretty mature. Interestingly, the book is simultaneously darker and more lighthearted. It reads like a fairy tale, but it travels to pretty dark places with its narrative and symbolisms. Add that to some brief nudity, and this film is actually very surprising for having been made in 1982. It's really, 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 really worth checking out if you haven't. The book is really worth reading to give you a broader sense of the themes and the world that it's set in, but if nothing else, do watch this movie. It's beautiful, enchanting, very dark, and a great high fantasy.